set in the late 19th century Midwest, Patricia Gaffney's Wild at Heart, published in 1997, weaves a captivating romance around the intriguing premise of a man raised in the wilderness. The story revolves around the blossoming relationship between a young widow who returns to her childhood home and a man discovered living in the woods by her anthropologist father. As the novel unfolds, the protagonist, Sidney Darrow, finds herself irresistibly drawn to the man who grew up surrounded by animals, uncovering his innate honesty and innocence. Eighteen months have passed since Sidney's husband's untimely death, leaving her yearning for a passion that was absent in their loving yet lackluster marriage. In 1893, she returns to her family home in Michigan, where she reunites with her father, two brothers, and strict Aunt Estelle. Sydney, eager to please her family and gain her father's approval, grapples with the challenges posed by her stern aunt, who assumed the role of matriarch after Sydney's mother's passing. Dr. Harley Winter, Sydney's father, is a brilliant anthropologist who, along with his assistant Charles and her older brother Philip, has made a remarkable discovery. They have captured a young man known as Ontario Man, who had been lost in the woods at a tender age and spent the following two decades living among wolves in the Canadian wilderness. Silent and seemingly feral, the young man becomes the ideal subject for Dr. Winter's theories on the altruistic nature shared by humans and animals. As Sidney delves into the enigma of the man's existence and rediscovers his humanity, she becomes increasingly captivated by his genuine and unguarded charms. Their burgeoning connection embarks on a journey filled with passion, unveiling the transformative power of love in the face of untamed wilderness. Is the decision to endure suffering for the sake of others a learned behavior or an inherent trait? This question weighs heavily on Sydney's mind as she uncovers a shocking secret kept by her father in Patricia Gaffney's Wild at Heart. Sydney's father, Dr. Harley Winter, has been holding a man captive in the name of scientific experimentation employing an unpleasant guard as his sole companion. Justifying their actions as necessary to preserve the man's purity for their altruism experiments, Sidney initially refrains from opposing her father's choices. However, everything changes when Sidney and her younger brother, Sam, encounter the imprisoned man and his handler. Witnessing the flicker of intelligence in the man's eyes, Sidney decides to aid Dr. Winter and Charles in their experiments to gain closer proximity to their subject. As Sidney and the man, known as Ontario Man but revealed to be named Michael McNeil, grow closer, Michael unveils astonishing abilities. Contrary to their assumptions, he can speak, understand, and even read, having acquired these skills before his years in the wilderness. Michael's presence in the family home allows him to absorb knowledge eagerly, devouring books, engaging in games with young Sam, who treats him like an older brother and delighting in visits to the bustling city of Chicago during the Grand Chicago World's Fair. Sam proves to be a natural companion for Michael, as the young boy provides him with insights into the human world. Despite his intelligence, Michael remains naive and childlike in his understanding of human society. Yet, his instincts for love and romance are surprisingly well-formed. Like the wolves who raised him, Michael desires a lifelong mate, and from the outset, he recognizes Sydney as the woman destined to fill that role. As the story unfolds, Wild at Heart explores the intricate dynamics between Sydney, Michael, and the complexities of their shared journey. It delves into the exploration of love, personal growth, and the profound impact of human connection on one's sense of self and purpose. Sydney finds herself irresistibly drawn to Michael, but their path to true love is far from smooth and wild at heart. Michael's naivety and lack of cunning lead to several encounters fraught with confusion, while Sydney must navigate unwanted advances from another suitor. The family maid, captivated by Michael, shamelessly flirts with him, only for her intentions to become unmistakably clear. In another instance, Sydney's brother Philip takes Michael to a brothel under false pretenses, but Michael's innate understanding of love versus mere physicality prompts him to flee. Meanwhile, Sydney is pressured to accept Charles. Dr. Winter's assistant, as a potential husband and must delicately decline his advances. In an attempt to evoke memories of his forest-dwelling days, the family decides to introduce Michael to a zoo. However, the bleak reality of how animals are kept in the late 1800s leaves a deep impact, leading Michael to react with distress. Determined to liberate the imprisoned creatures, he orchestrates a daring plan to set them free, plunging the city into chaos. As authorities search for Michael, Sidney becomes his protector. 
The novel reaches its climax when Michael's true family is discovered, revealing his noble lineage and immense inherited wealth. This revelation not only elevates Michael as an ideal match for Sydney in terms of birth, but also secures their future together, a joyous ending for the deeply enamored couple. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.